fires are causing problems for drivers along with home and business owners, especially south of Indianapolis. RTV6's Julie Persley traveled to Johnson, Bartholomew, and Jackson counties to show us the widespread flooding there. Floodwaters were such a problem earlier. Indiana State Police had to issue a travel advisory along Interstate 65 in southern Indiana. We went up in Skycam 6 to give you a better look at the widespread damage. Daylight revealed what the pounding storms and torrential downpours overnight left behind. There are several areas in Johnson County and to the south that are waterlogged in Indiana. In Franklin, the legends look more like lakefront property than a golf course. Several of the greens turned into islands, and you could hardly see some of the fairways. In Bartholomew County, homeowners are struggling. This neighborhood just east of I-65 and north of US-31 has water running through. It. Homes are surrounded, streets are covered, and cars and trucks are stuck in driveways. One person found it was easier to get around this morning by kayak. Drivers like this one near County Road 800 North and 100 West who tried to cross the high water found themselves stranded. In Jackson County, floodwaters even caused problems on I-65. At one point, water was rushing over the interstate just south of the Seymour exit. Traffic was backed up for miles. People who tried to take an alternate route on US 31 ran into the same problems. It too was waterlogged. Indiana State Police have since lifted that travel advisory in Jackson County. But first responders are reminding you if you approach a flooded roadway, turn around, don't drown. Julie Persley, RTV6. And if you've been affected by this week's storms and power outages and you need some help, the Red Cross is inviting you to come to one of their emergency shelters. You're invited to come for snacks, meals, or even an overnight stay at their Indianapolis headquarters on East 10th Street. You're also welcome to charge any electronics or medical devices there. Other shelters located around the state are in Jay, Brown, Wells, and Jefferson counties. Some